The Hessian and I went hog hunting down in Bosque County. We were about three and a half hours into the hunt when the Hessian spied these hogs. So, got on the rifle, got quick video of them. Now I've changed over to my shooting sticks. The wind here is blowing from right to left. And as a matter of fact, it's blowing right down this road. And this hog right here alerts on us, makes a sound, and all the other hogs start running. At this point, we think our hunt is blown. I start scanning, looking for any hogs that are straggling behind, seeing what the cattle are doing, making sure that none of the cattle are startled at the same time. And it looks like all the cattle are staying in place. They don't seem too bothered by the hogs running. They haven't been bothered by us approaching. I see the piglets here, so it looks like maybe some of the hogs are staying behind. Scan again to make sure that the uh, cattle are staying in place. I lose that hog. Um, so I scan back and forth, see this piglet, think I'm going to do this piglet, then I see a bigger sow behind it. I wait for her to clear the cow, wake up the cattle, and drop the hog in place. And this one last sow got away cleanly as well. Scan back around, no more stragglers. All the cattle are doing fine. My hog is doing the curly shuffle. And these two cattle actually ended up laying back down right in place where they were. Well, we decided that uh, maybe the hogs had come back. We'd only fired one shot. And so we moved about 150 yards downwind and uh, waited for the hogs for about an hour or so, watching some of the wildlife go by, watching the mama cows clean their calves. and watching the cows be bedded down. But the pigs didn't come back, so we went ahead and went looking for the sow. Found her, uh, put a firefly on her to mark her spot so that uh, when we left to go get the truck that we'd be able to find her readily. These little blinking lights are actually terrific for this cause. Turned out to be about a 150 pound sow. The shot looks to be a little far back, but it was a quartering way shot, went through a lot of tissue, exited high on the shoulder, on the opposite side. The Hessian went ahead and, and butchered the sow for the back straps and then afterwards decided to take a look at the, what the burger bullet did and entered below and behind the shoulder blade clipping one rib traversing the body traveling about 12 to 14 inches where it exited out on the opposite shoulder making a fairly massive wound uh, clipping at least one rib, breaking it, and then clipping the edge of the shoulder blade as well. Here's a close-up of it. I went ahead and explored the wound with my fingers, and the permanent cavity was at least the width of two fingers on the inside. So the burger bullet really did its job. Here's a recap, slow motion view of the action, watching the sow as it passes behind the cow, passes behind some foliage. Notice the piglets around it. I wait for it to emerge, make sure that she's well clear of the cow before I take the shot. And she goes down in place. Thanks for watching.